Hey everyone, this is Pixel from the Frag Dolls here, and as you guys might know, Borderlands 2 just released in North America on September 18th, and I happened to pick the game up day one via Steam. So I've been a huge fan of the Borderlands franchise, I loved the first one, played it a few times through, and loved every moment of it. So I could not wait for the second installment of the game. However, I did not do any reading on the characters, the backstory, I did not play any hands-on demos at PAX and PAXies. So coming up, these are truly my first impressions. So I'm first launching the game and I'm already surprised. I did not realize that you get extra head skins and also extra colors for your characters if you have a previously uh, saved game from the first Borderlands. So we're dropped right into the intro movie here, and I'm not going to show you guys the whole thing, but it kind of gives some sort of background as to what happened between the first game and the second game. And like I said, this is totally new to me. So now I get to make the ultimate decision of choosing who I want to be in my first playthrough. I decide to go with Zero the Assassin and I really like this creepy looking arachnid head. Even though there's not a whole lot of character customization, I'm still glad they added it in because I am a huge fan of doing that in all the games where I am granted the ability to. Here we are just spawned in and immediately I notice that the environment is so much different than what we've experienced in the first Borderlands. There's a blizzard going on, I have only 10 health, which sucks. And there's another mysterious woman who seems to be guiding our way throughout this world. Um, hopefully we'll find out more about her later, but for now, I'm just going to keep following the snarky, snarky claptrap. Uh, and hopefully I'll find my first gun soon, because right now I'm feeling terribly vulnerable and... I don't think my melee is going to help me much right now. So now I found myself in an area called Claptrap's Place. And actually when we first spawned in here, I thought it said Claptrap's Palace. And I was like, oh really? Well, this looks like, you know, kind of a dump for being a palace, but it's not. It's just Claptrap's Place. And there's a lot of boxes and stuff to loot. And that is my favorite part about Borderlands, or at least one of my favorite parts. It's just diving in and finding all the cash, finding the guns and speaking Speaking of guns, this is actually where I find my first one, thank goodness. It's about time. So now I am readily equipped to, uh, to defeat that interesting looking monster. And here are actually some more of them. Instead of skags like in the first game, these are actually called bully mongs. Yeah, super weird name. <laughs> and I love the way I fire the revolver. I just feel like such a badass right now, slinging bullets in their faces. Except, of course, when I, um, you know, lose all my health and then I need to get a second win. <laughs> but luckily, I am playing this co-op and that is one of the shining features of Borderlands is how much more fun the game is when you're playing with another person. And of course, you know, Borderlands is all about the crazy guns. Early on, I find a pistol that turns into a grenade when reloaded. Not particularly useful, but fun. Yep. All right, here we go. Time for a boss fight with Brothers Boom and Boom. Also, if you couldn't tell already, Borderlands 2 is just as crude and over the top as the first. So I start off this fight pretty panicked. I don't know what the F to do. There's rockets flying at me. My partner goes down. I don't even know. I run out of ammo things aren't looking good. So honestly, I just start mailing the crap out of everything, including the boss. And you know what? It worked. Throughout the fight, I also noticed I had my first skill point to spend as denoted by that yellow icon in the bottom left there. And I just really want this to be over with. I want to see what it is. I did no prior research, so I have no idea what sort of sneaky ninja skill I'm going to get, but I can't wait. Boom is finally dead and I'm checking out my skill trees. So as Zero, I can choose between sniping, cunning, and bloodshed, but first I have to unlock my base skill, which is Deception. Deception allows me to vanish into stealth, and it's actually pretty interesting. The longer you are stealth, the more bonus damage that you will get to do on your next melee or gunshot. 
For my first build, I'm oh, also crap. planning on doing ah, sort of a close-up and personal melee build. I really wanted to be just a straight-up ninja. I, um, I might try out the sniping later on since it was crazy, crazy helpful in the first game. But we shall see. Overall, so far, I've just been having a ton of fun with this game. I can't wait to get my hands on it again. And I am looking forward to seeing what other sorts of environments and plot twists will happen in this game. Also, if you want to, you can hit me up for some co-op action. My Steam name is Pixel underscore FD. And I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am with this. Thank you guys so much for watching that, and now it's your turn. Let me know what you guys thought about Borderlands 2, or maybe you could even tell me what class you decided to play and what spec you're going with by leaving me a comment below, or you could also tweet me at PixelFD. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fragdolls channel for more awesome videos, and you can also follow the Fragdolls on Twitter at Fragdolls, and you can even hit us up on Facebook facebook.com backslash ragdolls. So I will see you guys next time and until then, happy gaming.